Yo, what is up guys, your boy Sean Skins with another video today, and today's video will be about jersey swapping. Um, uh, since there's been a lot of, uh, you know, shit going on in the NBA recently, even though, uh, we did just have the NBA draft the first round yesterday, but, um, besides that, you know, trading and shit like that, I've been doing a lot of jersey swaps because, you know, it looks pretty cool in my opinion, like, look at this, check this out, hold up. Uh, where, where, where's, uh, the Angulo? No, no, oh yeah, Jimmy Butler got traded too. See, look, see how he's normally on the Lakers, obviously. Uh, I don't have the original, but um, he's usually on the Lakers, and, you know, I, you know, transformed him into the Brooklyn. And uh, there you go. That's basically what a jersey swap is. We didn't know. And, uh, you know, I'm going to show you all how to do one. And I'm going to be doing Lonzo Ball because he just went to Lakers yesterday. So uh, let's get right into it. Um, so I already had my two pictures. Um, this I'm going to be using for the jersey, and this is the picture I'm going to be doing of Lonzo. So, uh, first step you want to do is, once you have your pictures, you want to mask out the, um, jersey you're going to be putting on the player. So, as you can see here, I'm going to be doing Kobe, um, Kobe's jersey. Um, let me turn this up real quick. All right. Um, so now I'm going to mask this out real quick. Uh, I might skip it. So, uh, if I do, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so once you're done the masking part, um, you know, obviously this would be a little different than you guys because normally you want to mask out the entire jersey, but for now I'm going to be splitting it up, uh, top part and the bottom part. That way it's a lot easier to mask and do that shit because as you can see here, um, you know, the ball is in the way and there's a whole bunch of shit in the way. So, you know, if you, it depends on what you're doing. So, uh, and by the way, you do not want to mess up on your masking on, uh, jersey swaps because you really want to make it look clean and look way realistic. So... Uh, so once you've done that, um, you want to head over here and right click on it and then click duplicate layer and duplicate it to the image that you're putting it on. And as you can see there, we got it over here now. And um, now all you got to do is basically make it fit. Um, so you want to click this thing up here and then, you know, you could transform it to however you like. And, um, you know, just make sure it looks really clean and shit like that because you don't want it to look all sloppy and, you know, really fake. You know, you don't want it to look like that. So, um, I don't know if I will skip this part. Um, I might not. But I'm, I actually, yeah, I am. So, I'll be right back, guys. Uh, I'm going to try my best to get this all situated and, uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, now um, that I'm done the top part, now we're going to go to the bottom part, and now we're going to have to mask out Colby's uh, shorts. So, uh, you know, do the same way you did it before. Um, you know, this is only if you're doing a picture like this. Normally, like I said, you would do the whole uh, jersey at once. So, um, you know, just for this, um, for this picture, I have to do both uh, on a different, you know, type of shit. So, um and also, if you do have a photo like this, oh, jeez, and what the hell just happened? If you do have a photo like this, you don't have to mask out the entire shorts because, as you can see here, it's cut off halfway, so, you know, it saves you a little bit of time. You don't have to do it all, so uh, that's what I'm going to do real quick. Let me uh, quickly get this settled. Don't want to miss anything. Uh, all right, I think I'm ready. All right, so I'm going to duplicate that. Wait, let me see how it looks first. All right, that shit looks clean. All right, we're going to duplicate it to here and there it is now we're going to get it situated again just like you did to the top part um you know what i might do i might actually put this nah 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 because then that would be too much go figure out your own damn picture and try to figure that shit out uh all right so one if you're doing a picture like this you want to make sure it's on the bottom uh bottom layer like under your uh um your top jersey because uh, it won't look good if it's on top. So, dude, why is this shit not working? What the hell? What the hell is going on here? All right, let me uh, let me put this in a little bit more. Oh shit, that looks really weird. 
something like that. Put this in like that. Alright, that looks good now. Put that one in like that. I don't know why that looks weird. Oh, wait, you're not going to really see that. Alright, so uh, now i got to get this behind the basketball. So let me mask this out like, real quick. I got to do that. Now, I really suck at this kind of masking because, you know, sometimes the brush goes over what I'm trying to mask and it really fucks it up. But, you know, it's whatever. All right. I think that looks good. Bam. Now it looks like a place for the Lakers. But we're not done because this dude's got some uh, blue undershirt. So uh, we got to fix that shit real quick. All right. So uh, the only way to do this is to, um, you know, outline it. And, you know, get every blue that you see. You see this blue right here? You want to make sure you outline that bitch, too. Uh, like that. And then this over here. And that. Okay. So, now that you've done that, you want to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue, and Saturation. Click Colorize. All right. So, now that the Lakers are, you know, yellow and um, purple, we're going to put this as purple because the jersey is already yellow. So, uh, let me find a purple color. Uh, something like that. And then I'm going to put the saturation up. And I'll put the lightness down. You know, a little dark purple. Alright. That looks good to me. Alright. That looks pretty sweet in my opinion. I think that looks better than the first time I did it. No, I don't think so. But, um. With that being said, now all you gotta really do is just edit the photo. Um. Do whatever you want. Um. You know, this is what I did. You know, I, I got creative with it. I decided to, uh. Do like a times change type of shit like this. Um. But let me show you all the original. Uh, the original edit that I did. Uh, where's that shit at? Come on, man. What the heck? Did I delete it? Oh. No, that's not it. Uh, oh, there it is. Alright, so. As you can see here, I did the same exact thing I just showed you. Oh, shit. Never mind. Uh, you see how there's a number two? We gotta fix that. So, you wanna get rid of the number. Um, unless you're lucky enough and you find the number that your player is already, uh you know, assigned by the jersey swap. But uh, in this case, 24 is not his number, so we're going to put 2. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, go back to Kobe, and we're going to get the lasso tool and just wrap around it. Oh, shit. Wrap around it like this. You know, only get the 2. Do not get anything else like that. Click Control j Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Click Control j and then duplicate it to our image and there's gonna be a flying two just hanging around where's that shit at ah uh, there it is all right so um now all we got to do next is just get rid of these numbers right here and that's simply just doing a lasso tool like this and being really careful with it right click fill content aware bam gets it gone disappear and then we bring down the two Where's the two at? There it is. Let me put this on top. And there we go. Now we got number two in this shit right now. Not number 24. Uh, I think that looks good. You want to make it look really realistic. So I think I think that looks good to me. Yeah, now I got to get the... Uh, make it look like it's behind the basketball. Alright, so I got to do this. Like that. There's so much masking in this, dude. It's not even funny. It's kind of gay. All right, there you go. That is how you uh, do a jersey swap. I know I've done a couple of videos like this before, but I decided why not do Lonzo Ball because, uh, you know, he's going to the Lakers now. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of uh, people already doing jersey swaps of him, and I never did one, and I decided why not do one. So there you guys go. I uh, hope you guys did learn something from this. It's actually really fun, and I've been addicted to these recently. Uh, I've been doing a hell of them. They may not turn out the way that you like it. As you can see here, I really don't like the way this Jimmy Butler one looks. This looks really, like, shitty, but, um, you know what? Matter of fact, you're going away. Goodbye. Um, so, you know, just be patient and, uh, you know, find a co the good photo, not no bullshit to make it harder for you, you know. As you can see here, Kobe's looking, you know, straight and the jersey's straight and it just makes it a lot easier to place him on a player. So, uh, just, you gotta find the right photo. And, uh, anyway, guys, that's basically been the video. Please subscribe if you guys are new. Um, please leave a like if you did enjoy. And also, 100 likes and I'll do a jersey swap on apps. I know plenty of you guys asked for that, but I want to see if you guys still want it. So, 100 likes and I'll do that for the next video. And, uh, peace out, guys.
I know how to make the girl go crazy When you treat her like you're number one baby Put my bitches on by the way, I've been doing um, challenges on my Instagram. And basically, let me show y'all real quick, actually. Hold up. All right, so I've been doing challenges recently on my Instagram. And um, as you can see here, all you got to do basically is turn on my post notifications. Um, there's going to be a button up here, and it'll say turn on notifications. So make sure you do that. And look out every night, and I will say challenge time. And I'll say guess a color, guess a number I'm guessing, uh, thinking of. You know that type of bullshit, all right? So, um, and there's like over 500 people that try every night. As you can see here, this one's got 720. This one's 956. This one was 665. Uh, 14, because I didn't do that one. But um, so uh, if you guys want a chance to win my graphics pack, a story shout out, and a follow, this is the way to do it. All you gotta do is just enter, and uh, you know it doesn't hurt you. Honestly, you don't have to pay anything. It doesn't affect you in any other way negatively so um you know why not just try it and you can win something for free so uh good luck if you try to do it because it's kind of hard you know to find somebody um especially with all those people but uh the first one that gets it is the winner so i'm just letting you guys know about that but anyway uh that's basically video guys oh by the way speaking of dirty swaps here you go this dude is the goat at dirty swaps look at this dude holy shit like, this is clean. Uh, go give him a follow.